application called Dropbox, which gives you two gigabytes of online storage, and it will automatically sync with any computers that you have it installed on. The main thing from Dropbox is online, and you can get it from this website, getdropbox.com. I'll put the link to that on the right of the video. And once you, if you, once you've logged in after you've created your account, um, you'll see a screen sort of like this, except there won't be tons of files here. And what you do is you just click upload, choose some files. It'll just prompt you with this thing here. I'll just upload a music file. You can add as many as you want at a time, but just for demonstration, I'll just upload run right now. You just click upload and it'll upload. And depending how large the file is, it will depend how long it will be up there. And while this is uploading, I'll show you, um, is in the finder, um, when it's installed, you get this little places icon here which is called Dropbox and this is what I mean by it automatically syncs with any computer you have it installed on when you upload anything into this folder the Dropbox folder it will be synced online and with anything else that Dropbox is installed on so you could install this on let's say a um, school computer or another home computer or a work computer and this works with Mac, Windows, and Linux. So you can use it with any operating system. So it's like Mobile Me in the sense with the syncing that it happens almost instantaneously, except that you can't use it like with your iPhone or something. And this is the beta release of Dropbox, so everything will not be perfect. There are some bugs. And another thing I'll show you is you can make these items public um, so that anyone can view them. And how you do this is that you have to um, secondary click or right click on the file that you already have in there. Go to more. Let's go to more. Go to Dropbox. Okay. It doesn't work with this one. You see, this is what I mean by it's in the beta release, so not all the ones work. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Yeah, not all of them work. Let's see here. Hmm. Usually files won't take this long, like documents will take like less than a second. Okay, so we'll just wait for this to finish. Yeah, it tends to sometimes only work with some. Oh no, this is what you do, is you drag any files that you want to have a link, you drag them into the public folder, which is automatically created, and then the icon will change, and it will have this little blue thing here, which means it's syncing, so you just have to wait for that to be done. Okay, so when, when the check mark appears, it means it's done, and then we you go here, well, we'll do this. This isn't top secret, they just say it is. You can get a public link. This is where it tells you how to do it if you ever forget. So you just right click or secondary click. Go to Dropbox, copy public link. Then when you switch to um, your web browser and paste it.
So when you go here, it will automatically prompt you to save it or open it. And with images, it will actually give you, it will show you the image, like in Google Images. So I just uploaded the music file. It ends tonight, and now it should be in the finder. We'll see. Not here yet. It takes a little while because it has to download too. And also, yeah, here you go. See, it just appeared. And I'm pretty sure this is what it came with. Um, it shows this thing when anything has been downloaded. And another thing you can do here is have inside, you can, like, create a shared folder. So you just create it. So say... Uh, um, science fair, and then you just type in the email addresses. This doesn't always work. Let's see if it comes, and then you can preview the invite. See, so this way you can add a message. I'm just going to be sending this myself just to test it. And then you can just type in a message. Blah. And once this happens, apparently you can click to view it. And here it is. It's down here. So what it does is it doesn't really send an email to your email address. Um, what it does is the, your username for Dropbox is your email. So if you um, create a shared folder with that person, it will automatically um, put that shared folder in their Dropbox. So if anyone else has a Dropbox. And the only thing that I... Make sure you have some good um, antivirus protection. Because if someone, let's say, um, finds out your email. And then they share a folder which they put like a self-opening virus in. You would be... You'd get virus and it, does, it will automatically put it there. So it can be kind of dangerous. And so this is the beta version, and this is pretty much just the, well, pretty much everything of Dropbox. And so you can use this with PCs, Macs, you just have to download Dropbox from the home page. I'll show you, so log out, like this. See, you just download Dropbox, and you can download it on any computer. So, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Bye.